Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is the Evo Shield wrist guard. I tried the Bauer ones with the pour on in them, and I wasn't a huge fan. People were asking about these. I saw online. I figured I'd get, try them out. Um, Amazon had them for 11 bucks each, and they're normally like $30 Canadian. It was American, $11, but still. So I'm going to just give them a tr uh, try, see how they are. And so it's just me making them. So if I screw up, you can see firsthand. So it says that they are activated by just opening them up. And that is done, just air activated. Um, so all you have to do is open this pouch, which is like a gel, slide it into the part right there, slide it on your wrist, and you're good. So let's do that. Let's see what it says. So this, before I actually start, this gel here, or this material, becomes hard once it's exposed to air, as you can see. So that's the actual protection part. All right, so now we have to put it inside. So it just fits in there. So the other side doesn't have a way to put it in, so yeah, you have to put it in the top one and just slide it in. And it says to put it on, so. And it says to put them on and wear them for half an hour, so we'll do that. Then I, I read or I saw online that people just squish it down so it fits your your arm better. So, so there's one, and might as well do the second one over here. And like I said, it does say to keep them on for. Uh, half an hour, wear it for 30 minutes. And I got a large and I was thinking that would have been too small, but it seems okay. It fits pretty good. I'm, just to give you an idea, I'm six foot three and about 220 pounds. So, and I fit a large, but I guess it's more of your muscles, which I don't really have, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, so number two. And just sliding it in. Oh, having a little difficulties here. And there we go. And there we go. So we have the Evo Shield wrist guards, and this is them still soft, so I'll wear them for 30 minutes and see how they are. And I'll just do a video after that, and just, I guess, show them when they're hard, and that's about it. All right, so the actual material's harden. Here it is. Hopefully, this shows up pretty good. Um, now, I kind of screwed this one up, if you can see, where it was folded when it hardened. So I kind of lose some of that area protection as you can see right there I lose that part but that is my fault actually it's a better show right there so this one was on my right hand so I'll just slide that back in and put it back on really quick Oops, sorry about that so there's the one and then the other one was on my left, obviously. Put this on. So there they are. Now, with a glove on. Now this glove is good because it has the double protection, but 
yeah, as you can see, it's pretty good. It just gives it a little bit extra padding there. And then just for fun, the mini stick test. Now I can obviously feel that because it's a slash guard, but I wouldn't hit my bare hand that hard. <laughs> That's pretty good. I feel that, that does a bit better job than the power ones, the pour on ones. Maybe I'll try to pull those out later and do that as well when I actually do the full review of this. But so far, pretty happy with those. And for, yeah, so check out Amazon if you want them. They're eleven dollars for me on Amazon they only had certain colors uh, but black was one of them and this was another one so I'm pretty happy so far and I'll test them out see how they play like with a long sleeve shirt and if they get too sweaty or too hot or anything like that but yeah so thanks for watching I hate to do this again but remember like subscribe uh, check out my Twitter and Instagram like me on that just so I can get more stuff to do reviews on anyways thank you very much